This is my uh, first attempt at a YouTube video. Uh, my name is Stephen Brown. I have a mobile welding business. Uh, it's called Freedom Mobile Welding. I live in uh, Central Florida. I work all over Florida. And uh, today we're going to do a job over on I-10 on a track, working on a tractor. Uh, the frame of the bush hog has cracked. It needs to be repaired, so it shouldn't be a big job. It shouldn't take too long. I'm heading right now to my welding supplier uh, to get, I need some rods. I need to get 60, uh, 70, 18 rods. And, uh, and then we'll be headed that way. All right, guys, I'm going to show you my setup. I guess I hadn't even showed you all that yet. This is my welder. I got a Lincoln Ranger 250 GXT. Um, and I got everything on a trailer rig. Got a toolbox there. Same size toolbox over there. I got my torch bottles and hoses right there. Extra gas can. Um, and then I, on my truck, I just keep spare metal. It ain't much. But sometimes when you need it, it comes in handy. So uh, let's get this thing fired up and we'll uh, get going. All right, guys, let me show you what we got here today. Oh. See that crack up in there? It doesn't go all the way around, it's not on the surface. I'll uh, cut into it a little bit. Let's see how bad it actually is. Um, but anyways, the process is going to be to grind this out, gouge it out, to where I can get a full pin weld on it. And then we're also, once we get that done, we're also going to make a uh, triangular gusset here to go right there to uh, prevent this from happening again. This side's not been repaired before, but this side over here you can see. I don't know who's done all that, but somebody has repaired that one. But, uh, yeah, so we'll try to set y'all up so y'all can see kind of what I'm doing and uh, see how she goes. A 6010 to do the roof pass, and once we get the roof pass in, we'll finish everything else off with a 7018.
at 6010 at about 85 ish amps. Uh, we got that gap filled up. Now we're going to our 7018, and we're gonna we're running at about about 110, 115, and uh, we're gonna do our hot pass and a cap over top of our 6010. So let's see how it goes. Got that welded now we got to um cut that gusset make a gusset so right now i'm heating up this metal so it just rained as you can tell heating up this metal to get some of this water off all right so here's what we need this little section here and we have to trim some off the back, this corner, so it clears the weld that it'll be buttoned up against. I made sure to grind off all of the torch marks on every side. That way there's no possibility of that thing using one of those torch marks to crack. I don't want it to crack. Now I'm going to take this torch and I'm going to heat up my area because it just got rained on again. Heat up my area, get the moisture out, and uh, we'll get this gusset put on and weld it out.
got it done before the rain hit real bad. That was today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Please uh, do the whole YouTube YouTube thing where you like and share and whatever. Um, and let me know. Let me know how I did. It's my first video. First time I've ever recorded me working ever at all. So let me know how I did.